Father Lloyd actually saved me, and um, I will never forget that. I know Father Lloyd through my husband, who is a big part of this church as well. He's security for this church, and um, he introduced me to the most powerful, most beautiful, wonderful man I've ever met in my whole <laughs> life, and he really changed my life around. I thought it was really good. I'm very excited, and it's my first time to be, um, to visit Father Lloyd. I went to Catholic school for 12 years. I've been here 19 years, so I probably have sat through 15,000 homilies, and tonight was the best homily I've ever heard. And it was very moving, very meaningful, and Father Lloyd is a very dear friend of mine and always will be. I thought it was great. That's why I said he had an interesting sense of humor. There's a, he's a funny guy. Phenomenal, phenomenal human being. Uh, if I could ever live up to be like Father Lloyd, which will never happen, uh, that would be incredible. But uh, he, Father Lloyd's done so much for me and my family uh, and my marriage and everything else. Describe him in one word. Incredible. <laughs> That's very good. You're I my, love him. God you're bless my him. friend. <laughs> he was my student and my mentor. The same thing. Student and mentor. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be here tonight with this great gentleman that I've known a few years. I'd and say, uh, say, I, yeah. he was the boss, too, when uh, I was working for him. Oh, St. Francis met Father Lloyd. That's a wonderful question. Um, I think he would have loved him. I think he would have loved him. He would have recognized a fellow warrior. Father Lloyd kept me sane when I lived in the city. He is... It's all, it's all about your Cabbage Patch, that's what he always tell us. You're not out there to save the world, just your Cabbage Patch that the Lord has given you. And, it was, and it's not about perfection, it's about growth. His words are burned into our heart for our whole life long. How do I know him? Well, I was uh, baptized and I went to make my communion, my confirmation, my penance. Uh, what else did I do here? I graduated eighth grade, eighth grade. Oh, yeah. He's solid gold. Well, Father Lloyd has been at our convent every Friday for years and years. And he has heard the confessions and preached to our sisters. He is one of the best priests we have ever known. We just want to thank you, Father, for everything that you've done for our community and congratulate you on your 60 years of priesthood. We give praise to God for your life, for your priesthood, and for all the love that you've given. I couldn't tell you anything but good on Father Lloyd because he's an extraordinary man. He's an extraordinary man. He's a great way with students. It's a great way with parents, with teachers. Father Lloyd uh, is always uh, guaranteed for appropriate holy fun and uh, so very grateful for the years at the seminary and great grateful for all of his help for our community, all of our brothers and, uh, and especially tonight now example for the new guys, the novices, just starting out, seen 60 years and that joy, they're gonna keep going so thank God. He mentioned that I keep him alive. I think that's the, uh, the other way. He keeps us alive. <laughs> Spiritually, he's, he's great. We, we love him, we are proud of him. Le deseamos muchos años más en el servicio del Señor. ¿Comprende? Sí, much more years, many more years for me, for me. In, in, the, in, the, in the service of the Lord, oh, el Señor, sí. in the service of the Señor. El Señor, sí. Yeah. Great to have been here, Jim, to celebrate with you. I had a roommate, he was standing on the corner with a Bible, and they built this building around him. That was a long time ago. But anyway, when I met him, the building was there. And he taught it a unique class, starting with Aristotle and why Aristotle believed in God, and why Aristotle believed in the loving God, and that's how I first met Father Lloyd, and we've been friends for all these years. Father Lloyd will not admit to this, but Father Lloyd saved my mother's life. My my mother had colon surgery, came out of colon surgery, and didn't want to live. The surgery was successful, but she didn't want to live, and. She was not the type of person who would talk to a mental health professional, but I knew she would talk to a priest. And Jim is one and the same. He's a priest and a psychotherapist. So I sent him up. To this day, I don't know what he said to her, but the next day, she just regained the will to live. And that was it. So she'll be 80 this year, thanks to him. That was six years ago. Wow, wow. Well, one of the very special things is that every Mass, and I would go to his Mass. In fact, people in Woodlawn, where I lived, would call and find out when Father Lloyd was saying Mass, because that's the Mass they would go to. Father Lloyd would end his Masses with, God loves you. 
And my family would say when we were going home, what a great thing to hear. You know, it would give you that vitality to go on for the following week. So that I will always remember. God loves you. Man of great reserve. He had a lot of, you could see him tonight, you know, at 87 years of age, that I have to use the word performance, but in the best sense of that word, you know. I asked him, I said, where did you get the energy to, to do that? And uh, he said, well, he said, it just came. <laughs> On behalf of the Board of Directors, the members of the Retired Detectives Association, the Police Department of the City of New York, it's my honor to bestow upon you our Artie, given this night in general, grateful gratitude and appreciation for your outstanding service, commitment to the law enforcement community. Robert Unger, President. Wow. Tommy oh, Hyde. boy. And that's beautiful. Father Lloyd is the, is the quintessential New York priest. He's got it all. So he had to show us this movie one day that was a little bit raunchy. And he comes up, he gets into the class, and he says, Guys, this is terrible. I gotta show you crud, but you need to know what's out there so that you can minister to it. Now, just suck it up, hold on, and we're gonna watch the show, okay? But you know, there was a perspective there that he gave us that, hey, these are people who are searching for love, and it was kind of twisted in the wrong direction. And we as priests need to get in there and minister to them. We got to love them like we love everybody else. And I'll tell you, he, he moved a lot of guys' hearts. He kind of brought a perspective as to how we need to, to minister to our less fortunate brothers and sisters who, by whatever concerns or situations in life, kind of got moved off in the wrong direction. We want to bring them back to truth, bring them back to love, and bring them back to the love of God. And that, that's Father Lord. I mean, I, 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 everything about him is you know, genuine human concern, but so that you can bring them back to the love of God. That's Father Jim all the way. Service to God, country, and church is for, throughout 60 faithful years. Your chaplaincy of the RDNY, Retired Detectives of New York, City Police Department has been inspirational. Well, thank and you, I, Thank you so much, boy. How about that, huh? And then, this is also for you. Oh boy. And enjoyed longevity awards in the RDNY ordained 60 years Yo, ago. Oh, that's so nice of you. Uh, oh, that's wonderful. You get that? Boy, that's beautiful, huh? Wow.